the very beginning, we talked about these three theories. And uh, we want to assure the American public, we want to assure the families of the victims of this horrendous tragedy that nothing, nothing like that has taken place, would take place, would ever take place me, under Why any circumstances, under any follow. circumstances. Why? Now, as, as we've said all along, Well, the Navy is a suspect. The Navy is a suspect. Why they should they be involved in the investigation? The Navy is a suspect. And by me saying over the course of these months that that the United States military, that friendly fire, was not involved in this incident, and I used the strongest terms I could use. I said it was highly, 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 highly unlikely. And that's true today. Nothing has changed to change that. I'd add maybe five more highlies to that. But that does not take off the board the missile theory. We've never taken the missile theory off the board. Good afternoon. The U.S. Secret Service has absolutely no information that one of our agents or a person with official ties to the United States Secret Service has known of, received, or produced a document of the type alleged by Salinger. And then we'll go back to questions. Okay. Uh, Mr. Salinger's recent statement about having proof has been unfortunate and irresponsible, not only for raising confusion in the minds of many people here and abroad, not only for causing consternation and pain to the families of the victims, uh, but also for the fact that a uh, once well-respected journalist would seize information that he now admits was third-hand at best and uh, try to promote it as some scoop of his.